Come on, gang, we're getting the band back together. Hey, everybody, it's me, Loki, Loki9, and we are continuing our adventures in The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, and we are going to try and get this band back together. However, at the moment, they don't really want to talk to me. Uh, they want to go and tell their story to the Lucky Clover Gazette. So that is exactly what we are going to do today. It is, of course, in the Hebra region uh, near the Rito village because it took over a horse stable. So that is exactly where we're going. Uh, firstly, we need to go down here because we're going to work from the North Hyrule Plain, go up, 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 around, and then hopefully at this point we will actually find what we need. So let's uh, pop on over here. We will help move socks along there as well by going to that stable, getting them in. And yeah, we will do all these things. I hope you're having a good morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are on this good wide rockyard as we get back on into the Legend of Zelda Tis the Kingdom. I have been enjoying myself immensely. Uh, it's just It's just been a fun time. It's just been a fun time, and it is continuing to be a fun time. So let's go. Let's get on in. Of course, as we can find more uh, stables and such, we will also be finding more wells, because the wells are one of my favourite things to be doing in this game. I really like finding all of them, and there are 50 more to find. So let's do it. Let's take a horse, horse and get socks. I want socks. Yes, socks are good. There we go. And there's socks. Beautiful. Fine as is. Thanks for using the stable. And we will go. Yep. It's very odd. It's very ominous, I should say, that uh, they keep saying, oh, I think it's going to be the end of the world. It's like, please don't say that. <laughs> please don't say that. You're spooking me. Sorry, Beetle. Did not mean to do that. How's it going? Hey there, we meet again. Are you still moving forward on this little journey we call life? Well then, can I tempt you to buy what have you got? More arrows. I'll take you a lot. Arrows are always good. There we go. And you don't have anything else, but I will sell. Uh... I mean, choo-choo jelly, I can do something with if I turn it into fire chew. Uh, I've still got more amber. Sure. And I will also sell the ruby and the... Yeah. Because I don't really use environmental arrows. So. It's a lot of money. And we need it. We need the cash. We need the liquid currency. Uh, is there anything else I want to sell them? Probably the basic fangs. There we go. And then this one as well. There we go. And job done. I've now got 760. 760 rupees. Let's uh, get ourselves turned around. Whew. So, yep, we're going back again on our wonderful adventure. We're going to have to go left here or do i want to go straight up and over oh that will get us straight into a bog which is probably not the best thing to do so we'll go left here we'll go through demise's canyon breach of demise yeah ah oh close get the burps there you go got the burps chimkin Chimkin. I just had chicken for lunch, actually. Speaking of, it was uh, delicious. So, thank you, Burbs. Link is also going to have some chicken. Well, I see a whiz robe. I see a whiz robe. Okay, let's quickly... Uh, he's lightning, but I'm going to do fire. Okay, where's he going? 
Okay, let's just bomb this guy. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay. Get him! Got him. Topaz Rod, okay. Uh, Water Warrior. I'll throw this. Scary! Spicy peppers. Nice! I mean, there's lightning and it's scary, but nice! Okay. Hmm. Some more spicy peppers. See what I can drop for use as a... Uh, by attack power. Here we go. Eh. Let's fuse this. There you go. That's that's a much better weapon. Uh, we'll stick with the extra durable Lizard Spear for now. Okay. Let's keep going about our way. I will go with the Arm Shard Shield. See what we can see. I've got a lot more hearts and stamina, by the way, because I used a um, a, a horse god bed. Uh, I paid 50 rupees for that, so that is why we have that little extra extra. Read all about it. <laughs> little lucky clover joke right there. Yeah. Glendo, hey, got a lot to do today. When I'm traveling, I'll have to take in the sight of sky islands floating overhead. Mm. But from down here, you can't see them at all. It's eerie. If I could scale the cliffs, I'd be able to see them at the Skyview Towers again. Then I'd feel much better. Okay, excuse me, Foxo. Going around. It's okay. I didn't want to run them over. Okay, then here we want to go forward. On the... On the right. Yeah. So we'll keep an eye out for... Shrines and other random stuff. Okay, mind for the fox, mind for the fox. Okay. Hello. Oh, they're running alongside me. Cute. Do, 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 do. Protect me, bugs. Pl oh, hold on. Wait, what? What are you doing down here? Ah. Got him. You're right. Water, you're strong, tougher than a beetle's shell, and sharper than a mantis's claw. Let me give you this as thanks for your help. It's great to eat even when you're on the road. Energizing Stumblebob. I, Water, am wandering all throughout Hyrule collecting bugs. Are you perhaps also a fan of insects? Honestly, how could you not be? From their beautiful wings paired to their tough exoskeletons, what perfect creatures. Oh, I've got it. As thanks for your, all your help, let me gift you my knowledge of all things insector. That's a science name for bugs. <laughs> You're travelling around Hyrule too, so such wisdom will help you find all sorts of bugs on your journey. Okay, let's start with the basics. I'm sure you know that Hyrule has warm regions and cold regions, right? Well, just like most folks, our different buggy friends prefer different climates, depending on their needs. So warm regions like Elden are often home to summer wing butterflies and warm darners. Meanwhile, cold darners and winter wing butterflies prefer cold regions like Hebra. So you see, if you know what kind of bugs live where you're heading, it makes the journey that much more fun. And that's it for Dr. Water's Insect Crash Course. I hope we meet again somewhere soon. Ah, A Coblin Horn. Hmm. He's just chilling underneath the uh, thing right there. Getting some shade. That's nice. Okay. Let's continue about our adventure. Just uh, having a nice... Chill ride. Listen to the the horse go clip clop clip clop clip clop. I just love how peaceful this game can be if you let it. Oh, what's going on up here? What's going on over here, Dan? Hello, hello, hello. 
What's happening here? Your death! Aha! Oh, hello. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. I will take your horn. Okay. Oh. Hello. Knew it. There we go. That's got to be the Lucky Clover Gazette, right? That's got to be. Okay, where, where, where's this green pin? Hmm. Okay, I'll take that back. Okay. Is there anything here for me? Uh, I should have a shield which has fire on it. Roasted acorn, an acorn cooked with direct heat. Its nutty aroma has been amplified. Baked apple. Thank you. Okay, keep going on this road. We'll get where we need to go. Hmm. Seeing some mushrooms. At the end of the world if we don't grab those. Okay, let's go a little faster. Oh. So a little flock of birds go up. Oh, it's you again. Hey, bud. Okay. What are we doing today, then? There you go, make a little hut. Stay out of the rain. Ooh, that would actually be quite useful to stay out of the rain. If you, if you need to make a little place where you, you can make a campfire, you can just put this here and... Ah, uh, oh, that's cool. Okay, get this beam. Put that right there. Grab one more beam. Bring it right in. Put it underneath. All good to go. Oh, it's you! Thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson up here too. Uh, you just need to let go, man. You need to let go. What? Are you are you going to spoil him? All right, I'll let go. Mm. Easy fix. It's fine. President Hudson, I'll support you. Wait. Oh, it. I thought it just deleted it completely. I was like, how dare? Okay, again, very easy fix. We just need two more of these. Oh, steady. Steady. And then one more of these. Pop that right. There you go. You should be fine now to sort it. <laughs> there we go. Uh, try letting go now. See? Fixed perfectly in place. He's standing! It's alive! How's the president standing? That was brilliant. I would have never thought of it. Alright, let's get him secured while he's still standing. Just put this right here, get that fastened, and... Ta -da! Perfect! With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this. Also, you must be hungry. Energizing mushroom rice balls instantly refills some of your stamina wheel. The aroma of the mushrooms tickles your nose as you peel back the leafy wrapping. Ah, ah but here's a little extra something something. Another one flower, that's really useful. Thank you. And with that, I'm off. See ya. I made a little house. Do you like my little house? I'm proud of my little house. Uh, also, who's that coming up on over here? Uh, 
Hello. Hey. Hey, you look preoccupied, so I won't keep you long. It's just I saw a sunken treasure in a pond on the hill near Ludfo's blog. Mm. Seems a shame to leave perfectly good treasure chests down there. Well, I wonder if there's a way to lift it out. How far out is it? Ludfo's blog. Blog? Bog? I will put... The chest... Yeah. And also, that looks like a thing, so I'll do that too. Oh, excuse me! Thank you. Okay, let's go. Ah. I see a shrine. That's probably the nearby um, shrine to the stable, at least. Oh. What'd this say? Due to recent attacks on folk who are distracted by dropped objects, be careful. Pay attention to your surroundings. And don't go carelessly poking around suspicious objects. To Bantha Bridge, stable owner. Yeah, you'd have to be so careful in this world if you're just seeing, like, bricks fall from the sky. Okay, I need a key swing. A key swing. A key swing! There it is. Nah, it's not gonna get it. Okay, fair enough. I thought I could get that. Uh, we'll go up and round, and then we'll head to the stable. I've just missed. I've just missed this. Just a new sense of adventure. It's great. Is happening here. Let's have a look in the Makuruki Shrine in Hyrule Field. Okay. Walls in the depths. Well, they may be connected to a chasm on the surface. Fair. Interesting. Combat training archery again. Okay. Uh, just so I know that I've got a fresh bow. What's going on here? Oh nope! Didn't want to let me do it. <laughs> hey, buddy. This shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instruction. Steady your aim and fire at the enemy's head. Oh, oh we've been doing this. Headshots deal extra damage, we know. Your other attacks are ineffective, ready yourself. Yep, press and hold, release. Oh, in the eye, there you go. Well done! Why, thank you. <laughs> yep. Do not fear the approaching enemies. Fire true and strike their heads. One. Oh. Two. Ow. Excuse you. Three. Now, you could have done that with four arrows. I just need to get good. You've proven your mastery. Now proceed to the innermost chamber. And they can have a lot of good gear as well. Never, 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 never. Zonai charges. Other good stuff. Uh, what are my bows looking like? Uh, I can drop that. Oh, it's just not another normal construct bow. Okay. Is that is that a strong construct bow? 
that's just another punch dropper. Okay. Okay. And what I could have done would have been to do this. And then one, two, three. That's what I could have done. But I didn't. But I did not. So uh, let's see what we can get here. A strong construct bow. That's good. That's good. Let's get rid of one of these weak ones. I need more um, bow slots. I really do. Okay. It's wild how the, the bows didn't get affected by this damage to the uh, swords and stuff. Mm-hmm. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Excuse me just one second. Apologies for that, just had to take a phone call, but uh, hey, we had a beautiful view while I did it, so definitely not going to complain. Let's get back on down. Come on, Socks. Uh, actually, wait here, Socks. I want to go see what's up here. I want to go have a look if there's a Korok at the top of this. Because I've got a feeling there might be something. Oh, that's a big... Uh... Can't place a pin. Oh, there's something there. 100% there's something there. Oh, hello. This isn't right. This isn't right. Yahaha! Ha. I knew it. I called it. Boop. Bye bye. What is going on over there? Another one of those. Okay. Let's get to the tippy top of this. Use some of this stamina up. Do Link's a little sleepy. Go. Okay. Oh, I see something. Wait, is he chilling with a sign up here? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How can you be chilling with a sign up here, my guy? Why? What am I... What am I 
supposed to do up here for you? Fine. Uh, I've got some these I can turn into a triangle, I guess. Uh, sure. <laughs> Why is he up here? Of all the places he is, I did not expect him to be up here. I could have just used boulders, but eh. There we go. That might do it, and then just put a boulder either side. And then a boulder here. There you go. That's going nowhere. Hey, bud. Oh, it's you. Thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here, too. I don't know why. No one's going to go past. I will give him my full support as always. But I can't stand here forever. Try letting go, my guy. <laughs> it's so stupid. How's the president standing? That was brilliant. I would never thought of that. Okay, let's get him secure. That's so stupid. If I if I hadn't thought there's a core rock up here, I wouldn't have seen this guy just holding the sign. What is he doing? Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now staying proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well. Take this. Another red ruby! Getting our money back. Here's a little something. Oh! Okay! Nice. 40 rupees for that. Without him off! <laughs> ah, yes, the Rockmobile! A most, a most wonderful contraption. Let's see if this rockmobile works. It's so stupid. Let's see if it. Nah, that's going nowhere. Can I push it? I mean, I can push it. Let's go! Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay, maybe not. Maybe I can't push it. And I'm off! Except I see another thing, because I'm getting distracted again. I see that there's some water down here. Oh, an event! Hello! Okay. Oh, I see this. <laughs> well, that wasn't as uh, climactic as I hoped. Oh! Blah, 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 blah. I should get popped back at the top. Yeah. Okay. Eh. Water? There it is. Hmm. Mm hmm. Bye bye. Oh, I'm gonna need the slippery. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. uh, sticky. Use a small one. Oh, steady. 
it still works, but it's not fully slip resistant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh! Oh, there we go. Still basically works. Let's go get our horse back. Horse. I don't have a shield. There we go. Where's my horse? I'm going the wrong way! Yeah, I see it. <laughs> and I'm staying away from it. Which way is my horse? Really far left. Yeah, I, I need to make my way back round. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, let's, let's get a little speedy. Let's go a little speedier. Oh, thank you. <laughs> zooming. Oh Lord, we zooming. Okay, I just need to make my way back up. <sighs> okay, I'm wearing cl the climbing gear as well. I am wearing the climbing gear. Stamina back. Okay. <laughs> That's funny how fast they climb. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Not really that quick, but let's go! Okay, it's just a monster thing. Okay, uh, where are you, socks? There you are! Okay, I'm gonna go round! Round! There you go, round. Back to our, our original goal. I'm very, very good at losing track of what I'm doing. Is that a little Korok guy? It's a little Korok guy! I need to reach my friend! Okay, where's your friend, fella? Oh, my friend and I got separated. Oh, yeah, he, he's away away. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired, though. I can't move. Well, you're moving. Oh, I said you're moving. Down. Uh, and we are going to get socks, and we're going to attach them to this cart. So give me one second. Tabantha Bridge Stable. You're an eye towel, I see. Hello, and welcome to Tabantha Bridge Stable. Thank you for supporting the Stable Association. Since this is your first time here, we'll add one point to your pony points. Boop. Now then, once again, welcome, Link. Do you want to register a horse or take one out? Uh, I would like to take a horse. We're going to attach the thing. We're going to get the friend to the friend. All right, we'll get your socks horse ready for you. Sit tight. Your horse socks? Socks horse? Yes. Thanks for waiting. Would you like to equip with the towing harness? Yes, understood. Give me just a moment. There it is. Harness attached. Please ask what, uh, whenever you'd like to change your horse's gear. Thank you. Yeah, you can target them as well. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I recommend that you take precautions against the cold if you go any further north. It's always been a shitty region, but ever since their extreme cold snap, they don't have enough to eat. Ooh. You may see a Rito visitor here named Badoli. She's come from Rito Village to stock up on food. Okay. Yeah, that's that's rough. It's, it's not good. Okay.
Okay. Okay, let's let's move that a bit better. There we go. You get on that. Enjoy your ride. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Oh, this is fun. Ride like the wind. I need to reach my friend. I mean, my guy. I am your Uber. Chill. Chill out, my guy. Okay. Zoom in. I need to reach my friend. Is it? This is very cool, to be fair. Oh. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Get here, you. You're here! There's my friend! Thanks for bringing my friend! Here's something for you! Two Korok seeds. Yeah. Bye! Yeah. Yeah, and you can't pick them up once you've got them. I just need to uh, get rid of this off socks now as well because they're carrying it unnecessarily. We. Yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah. Friend, good socks. Yeah. Mm. I don't think they're used to wearing this uh, thing on the back, to be fair. Do... Yeah. You're here early, aren't you? Oh. Welcome, Link. Do you want to register a horse or take one out to ride? I would like to customise socks and get this uh, thing off them. Mm. Yeah, I want to remove the harness. Oh. Gotcha! I'll give it a regular saddle. Thank you. Thanks for waiting. <sighs> Looks great. Nope. All good. Uh, yes. North to Hebrew. Okay. And we, we do indeed want to go towards the village, but got some other things. The special goat feed. I know, I know. The prized white goats of Tabantha Bridge Stable are the cutest things you've ever seen, right? I'm sure it will come as no surprise that I'm quite particular about their feed. I want to make sure that they stay healthy. Not too long ago, I got my hands on a special recipe. I'll be able to show my culinary skills to my beloved goats any day now. That special goat feed. But there's a dog and there's also a well. Hey, buddy. Wait, two dogs? Two dogs? <gasps> two dogs. Um, eh, no, eh. Done these. Yeah. And then I will help your friend with the food as well. Yes. Noms. Come on. Back round here. Hmm. Come on, my guy. You got like two more apples. Nom noms. Nom 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 nom. Yum, 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 yum. One more. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you gonna... Yep. Where are you taking me? What you got? Ah! Yep, treasure! Treasure. 
Purple rupee. There we go. So there's that one. We've then got this buddy over here. Uh, I'm going to give them some meat. There you go, buddy. Yes, okay, they are interested. Yes, I'm um, 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 um. Um, 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 um. Now, is that enough points? No. Okay, good to know. You're running around the stable. Do, 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 do. I love how there's loads of little mini games you can do around the stable. It's like you get all the doggos, there's the well, and there's the shrine nearby. Okay, this dog is greedy. Greedy pupper. Here we go. Have all the apples. Have them all. What do you want from me? Nom, 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 nom. Okay, I don't know if it's just because there's like specifically one dog that takes you to treasure or... But they're still eating, so... I'm a little confused. If they finish all these apples and nothing happens, I'll just let them eat the apples. Come on, my guy. Nom 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 nom. One more. Nom 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 nom. Yeah, that's fine. Have fun. What's up? Yo, um, no, I mean, hello there, yeah. Welcome to Tabanta Bridge Stable. You know, you're giving off kind of a swordsman vibe. Oh, because you are one, I see. Whoa, a real life swordsman. Uh, sorry, I said that too loud. Oh, I mean, um, sorry, I got a little too excited there. Uh, my name is Kenyo. I want to be a swordsman someday, so I'm going, uh, doing all this work to bulk up. Nice to meet you. I'm going to be so buff someday that I won't even need a towing harness to carry lumber and stuff. Hmm? You don't know about towing harnesses? You're going to love them. I'll tell you all you need to know. So one of the exclusive perks for stable members is a towing harness for the horses. Huh, wait a minute, you already have a towing harness? Towing harnesses are great. Once you've got one, you can have your horse tow a wagon or even building materials. If there's something you want to move, you should put the towing harness on your horse. Go to the counter and ask to change your horse's gear. My dad will get the harness onto the horse for you. If you ever need to build something, you can take anything you want from a building material storage area. You'll find them along the road, but just about every other stable has one too. Neat. Uh, let's get in this well. The dog is also following me. Uh, get in the well and then talk to Badali. <laughs> okay, well time. Welcome. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, yeah. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have jumped in the well with no stamina. Um. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. More bright bloom seeds. Oh, I see it. It's blocking it. I see you blocking it. Okay. Uh, there is a fish. I will grab that fish. Come with me, glowing cave fish. Then we need to move this fella. So what I'm gonna do here? Done. Oh, this is a big underground area. Okay. Interesting. Oh, does that float? No, it does not really float. Okay.
Okay. Eh. Ow. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now what is under here? There's so much stuff. Okay, just gonna build the bridge back so I can get back. Nice. So now I've got a bridge. It's in here. Oh. Okay, and then another. Oh, this is so cool. Okay. Uh. Okay. Nice. <laughs> They're running away. What's in this chest? Purple rupee, 50 rupees. It's violet glow fills your heart with generosity. Nice. It's pretty solid. That's actually quite a big well, to be fair. Not normally that big. A little campfire. Feeling it was like a little well that a bandit used to hide their treasure or something. That's pretty neat. Okay. Okay, let's get the stamina back. We'll go back up. Wait, don't need to do that, do I? Weep! There it is. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let's have a look inside. It's Beetle! Uh, I'll solve this mystery. Ooh. Hmm? Is something bothering you, young man? Oh, could it be? Is the bright young fellow interested in the poster too? Reports say this is the picture of a beast that's been rumoured to be lurking somewhere in Hyrule. It's been the talk of the stables. They say that Princess Zelda herself was seen travelling with this beast. Oh, look at those tasks. What a fearsome creature. I wonder where this beast is right now. Quite a mystery, don't you think? If I were younger, I'd hike to all the stables to find out if there's any truth to these rumours. Then... It Glendo! Are you taking a rest too? It's been a long journey. I figured to Bantha Bridge Stable was a good place to stop and catch my breath. And with all the tall trees nearby, it was easy to spot them far away. What's in the newspaper? What's the Lucky Clover Gazette covering in this edition? What's the news? Great fairy fleas into flower bud. Yikes, that doesn't sound good at all. Uh, near Woodland Stable. Hmm. I was going to head to Elden, the region in northeastern Hyrule, and see if it was true. Yes. This is new. The Lucky Clover Gazette is here for you. So yeah, I need to go to the Rito stable, and then I need to go back to the musicians. Yeah. Near Rito Village. Oh! Whoopsie! Whoopsie doodle! Thank you so much! Brilliant! Okay, let's talk to Beetle. See what I can buy. Because I've actually got quite a decent chunk of money now. All... All arrows. All. Okay. Uh, and then nothing else in particular. Actually, no. Uh, let's have a look quickly. Uh, heat resistance. Feel warm and fuzzy. I'll take three. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Cool. And then thunder is lightning damage, right? <laughs> uh. Oh, he was saying something about the butterflies. My bad. Uh, whoopsie. Thunderwing Butterfly. This rare butterfly only shows itself when it rains. When made into an elixir, it offers electrical resistance. All of them? There we go. Your purchase of a Thunderwing Butterfly comes with a free beetle tip. How to tell moths and butterflies apart. Butterfly antennae are long and club-like. Like a book cobbling club. Except not like that at all. That was some quality shopping. Oh, he was telling me uh, something about the beetles. My bad. About the bugs. I've got some words of wisdom for you. No extra charge. Did you know some folks think bugs are scary? That's natural! They might not know about bugs, and the unknown is scary, but if you pay attention and get to know them, you'll see how amazing they are. Wow. It's against Beedle's life philosophy to hate things without giving them a chance, but I don't think you're like that. <laughs> I was like, give me the bug, Beedle! Oh, the fire went out again. 
Bidoli. All right, then. I'll take them. Oh, do you need to speak with Banji? Apologies, we were caught up in our conversation. I'm from Rito Village to the northwest. Uh... Times are tough where I'm from. Merchants aren't able to reach my village because of the blizzard. We're in Fort... Well, sorry, we are fortunate. The kind folks from the stable are sharing their supplies with us. <laughs> it's thanks to them that the children still have full bellies. Aw. Oh. Don't mention it, really. The Rito have been good neighbours to us. We're just returning the favour. You let them know if there's anything else you need, alright? I can arrange to have it sent here and then pack it up for you to carry home. <laughs> Words cannot express my gratitude. Oh, That's really sweet. Grab a little pot lid. Ah, oh, Let's get going then. Suppose we're moving on to, again, try and find this uh, Lucky Clover Gazette. Whee! Who did it? Steady. To ban the Great Bridge. Steady. Oh. Socks, I was letting you drive. What are you doing? <laughs> it's the northeast. So yeah, we're we're going up 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 up. We're going up up up. Oh, I see him again. What are you doing now? That's a tall one. Okay. Uh, oh. Huh. What's going on here? It's training time again. Oh. I'm gonna train again today to become an all-time great Rito warrior. Huh? huh? Who are you? Someone else who aspires to greatness? Guess you heard my little pep talk to myself, huh? Talk about embarrassing. For us Rito, our ability to control the wind is one of our big advantages in fighting monsters. That's why I train here every day. Ah. Aren't you curious what kind of training I'm talking about? Mm. Of course you are. I use these sweet wings of mine to return the balls that fly at me, pushing them back one after the next. What do you think? Want to give it a try? Uh... I do want to try. Ah. You think you can wing them in like me? Then let me tell you how the setup works. <laughs> See that impressive tower back there? We built this baby just for this. The guy operating the tower is Tubalt. I keep him on retainer so I can train. Tibot will lob balls at you. The game is to return them to the moving basket. Ah. You'll be faced with a total of 12 balls. Getting a green ball is worth one point, but a red ball nets you three. I don't see a featherless guy like you doing it my way, though. So I'll let you use any tools or mysterious powers you've got for you to return them. 20 rupees, so I can keep Tibot on retainer. Sure. Oh. Nice, let me go tell Tibot what, uh, what we're on. Or that we're on, sorry. So we need to catch the balls midair with... Um, yeah, Ultra Hand. Hey! Okay, everything's ready! Here goes! <laughs> okay. Quickly. Oh, that. Come back! Oh, bother. Oh. Okay. Nice. I'm getting better at it. Nice. I think I did it, 13? Right? Okay. I think he said 12 points, right? That's all. Wait right there, I'll be over in a second. Phew, I worked up a sweat watching you. Now that, that was uh, scary. Can we do it? Did we do it? Oh. Your score is 13 points. That's not half bad. Maybe I've been underestimating Hylians. You're more resourceful than I thought. 
You deserve something for putting on a good show. Take this. Purple rupee! Nice. What do you say? Want to try again? I'm good. Even the greatest warrior needs rest. Thank you. Cute little mini game. I will put this. Yeah. Put a little star for mini games. Uh, speaking of, where was some other mini? I'm, I'm trying to remember the other the other mini games I've done. I did one where it was like flying through the sky, so that would be up here. So that mini game is also a star. Uh, and then, where was the other mini game that I've done? It was in some woods, wasn't it? Like, up here. It was along the road. I'm trying to remember exactly where it was now. We went through like a little forest. But I can't remember it right now. So I'll, I'll, I'll leave it as these two. But I'll remember to put ugh, I'll remember to put a star when there's mini games. Anyway, if I remember, you have my support. <laughs> oh, that one's tall. Okay. There we go. Then we just want to make this a secure base. There we go. And add a little something underneath it. What are you on about? Excuse you. There we go. And then we need something on both sides. Up and over. And last one. Bring that over. That should do it. Hey, bud. Oh, it's you. Thanks for your help earlier. Uh, you need to let go, my man. Just let go. What, are you going to support him? All right, here I go. Nice. He's standing. <laughs> I would have never have thought of that. Oh, dear. Oh, it's perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now in place. Okay, what's he going to give us this time? Is it going to be more rupees? More rupees, always welcome. Spicy vegetables. That cold resistance is going to come in handy. And... Another... I don't use the sleepover tickets, my dude. Why are you doing this to me? You're breaking me apart. Anyway. <laughs> we will leave that be... And continue our adventure. Up and around the hills. Okay. Not seeing any caves. You know if I see a cave, I'm going right in the cave, so. Okay, we're chill, we're chill right now, we're chill. <laughs> oh, hello. Ah. Go away, Plus. Got him. Well, that was chill. Uh, so we've done all those. This will give me a chance to cook some food. Okay. 
Uh, or not the food, but the moth wings, sorry. Uh, there we go. Summer wings. And then we'll have to use... have to improvise here. Uh, what do I think is going to be the best for a thing? Probably an Aracuda one. <laughs> spicy elixir. It's spicy. Uh, that's all I needed, really. Thanks. Oh, an arrow. Take that. Hey, okay, that shield is going to break. Calling it now. What happens if I go... I can do that, but I don't know how they, how they span it. They spin it in the trailer. I'm like, how, how do you do that? How do you do that? Beep, boop. Oh dear. Hello, my guy. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, I see a wolf. I see a wolf. I also see a campfire, so let's go have a look at that. What's going on with this campfire? We'll get socks over here, away from that wolf. Oh! Are you stuck down here, my guy? Oh! It's this guy, they're all over the environment. He's just, oh, oh, hey, did you come down here to rescue me? Uh, it's a rescue! Why, thank you. I was heading to Rito Village, which is suffering through a fierce rillers, uh, blizzard, to cheer them up with music and supplies. I got my wagon going at a pretty good clip on this road, but then I suddenly drove into the hole. It's never been here before. The horse I was riding ran off somewhere, and my cargo has spoiled. The only thing I have left is the wagon. I haven't figured out how to get both me and my wagon out of this hole, and I, I won't leave it behind. Which leaves me stuck in here, plain and simple. Aww. I'm relieved that someone has come to my rescue, but I hope you have a plan to free me from this hole. The Hornist's dramatic escape, so I need to get this out. So that's not going to work. So we've got to think of something new. So think of something different, you know? You're right. What's happening? Cal calm down. Don't go down there. Back it up. There we go. Okay. Let's get these building materials down. Okay, let's, let's throw these down. Okay, let's get these in the hole. Don't go in the hole! Okay. So, what's the game plan? Uh, we've got some bits and pieces. work and then let's do that are you kidding me <laughs> are you being real right now this will work
No, it really doesn't like that, does it? Okay. This is going to go on here. So I can get up there. There we go. Ah, oh, hold it. Don't take my dear precious wagon away from me. But why didn't you get in it then? Phew, you had me going. Seems mean to take another fellow's precious wagon. My wagon's not the only one who needs to be freed from the hole. I want to get out too. But why didn't you... Get on it then. Ugh. Hmm. Hmm. I will use these to get you out of here, my guy. Oh, it's a blood moon. I can't climb the wall up the hole, and even if I could, I wouldn't want to leave without my wagon. If only someone could pull my wagon out of the hole with me in it. Is that too much to ask? Get in the wagon! What? You can actually make this happen? Yeah. Alright then, let's hope you know what you're doing. Get in the wagon. There we go! Oh, he looks cool. I'm in the wagon! Ready to go! Okay, good. We'll wait for this uh, thing to go, but... Uh... I'm going to need some batteries. Uh, I do have two. Okay, just wait a second. The blood moon rises! The blood -stained moon yeah! <laughs> So metal. Hmm. So metal. Okay. So, let's see if this works. Wee! Come on. <laughs> Survivalist Hunter main. What is this? Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I just used uh, the power of flamethrowers and... <laughs> wind tunnel machines to uh get this guy out of a hole i hope you're having a good day i hope you're doing well <laughs> phew i'm finally out i got so nervous i fogged up my glasses and missed what you did uh, i'm only like an hour into the game yeah we're like 15 16 hours in already scared at all the tiktoks you've seen oh we we've had some fun stuff go on i just want to uh quickly show you a little something uh that we have indeed done if i go into the album I can show you that. Uh, where is my favourite thing that I've done so far? There have been many things. Uh, one of them 
is... Game, there's been a lot of things. It was this star one, that's it. Have you been sacrificing the Koroks? No, I've not been sacrificing the poor little guys. But I have caught a uh, star out of midair. <laughs> I have done that. So I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself to have done that. Uh, I've also... Uh, what was the other wild thing that I have done? Uh, I've also been messing with the um, with the different uh, choo choo jelly things because you can put out fires and stuff with choo choo jelly, and not just your own fires, but all of the world's fires. You can just chuck stuff on. Got to go. Good luck and have fun. Thanks. I hope you enjoy your time in uh, Tears of the Kingdom. It is incredibly good. Jesus. I got so nervous I fucked up my glasses and missed what you did. Uh. But you did it. You actually did it. Thank you so much. If you hadn't come along, I don't know how much longer I would have been stuck in that hole. Come to think of it, if I hadn't made such a rash decision during the earlier days of the upheaval and run off all my troop, maybe things wouldn't have ended up like this. I mean, the supplies I collected to help feed Rito Village have all spoiled by now oh. anyway. I should go back to the stable trotters and rejoin my bandmates. That will do more good. Oh, have you not heard of us? Us stable trotters are a music troupe that goes around stables to perform. If I had to guess, it's out of your way, but they might be near Woodland Stable over in Elden. After I return this wagon I borrowed, I'm going to rejoin the troupe. There are so many people who'd benefit from hearing oh. us play. Oh, one more thing. Take this, please. It's a cooking ingredient I picked up in my travels. This is the least I can do for you getting me out of there. Horsey honey! It's so sweet. And now I better be on my way. I'm sure we'll bump into each other again. I look forward to playing my horn for you. Okay, we need to find the flutist, though. We need to find the flutist. That's the guy we're missing. But hopefully there's a fairy that likes the horn being played. Uh, so we're still missing three other bam... Uh, sorry, two other bandmates. If it's a, a four-piece orchestra. Let's go! Hmm. <sighs> hmm. Okay. It's gonna get a little chilly soon. Let's go, let's find more shrines. Let's find more good things. And we are still working our way up and round. Oh, I see what looks to be the next thing we need to get to for Rito Village. Okay. We definitely need to get in there. Let's go. Oh, there's going to be so many hidden bits and pieces around here. It's going to be wild. Okay. Hello, my guy. Oh, that one's small. Okay. Uh, that's a tiny one. So we, we, we want to be keeping it upright like that. And that's actually staying like that. Okay, good job. Uh, we want to be going this way. We did. Okay, uh, we're going to have to flip that over. Come with me. Put that there. Put 
put that like that. And we just need two more of these. One. Two. That should keep it in place. Oh, it's you. Thank you for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here too. My guy, you're obsessed. You need to let go. <laughs> let go. Yeah. He's standing. How's the president standing? I really worry. Um, worry about um, Tarrytown. No, I really hope Tarrytown's doing well. Um, I also want to see if I can get Link's house back. That was brilliant. I would never have thought of it. Let's get him secured. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. Let's get another 20 rupees, some food, and probably a sleepover ticket. Yeah. Okay, more cold resistance. Good. Okay, this, again, not, not the worst. Now I can go to other places, and with that, I'm off. Again, reminder, we've mainly been exploring just high wall ground at the moment. We haven't been underground. The, the most we've been underground is that. That's like nothing. It's all wide open space. Where is Socks? Get back over here. What are you doing? Come on. I will put on the cold gear. Um, just so that we're a little bit prepared. Okay, steady. Steady. Oh, I don't like this. Steady. <laughs> yeah, you can see there's a cold snap. Oh dear. No, we've really got to be going. The temperature is uh, dropping. Uh, let's quickly get a fire on this boy. Get down. Socks don't run off. Socks don't run off! Please. <laughs> Liz Alpha's horn. Rock boomerang. And I also see that that just fell, so let's go see where this is gonna take me. Don't worry about it. Okay. Rewind. Where are we going? Oh dear. Oh, that was scary. Where are we going? Just up into the sky. Oh, okay. I hope that didn't hit socks. I really do. There's a rocket down there. Yep. Okay, Zonaite shield. I want to be getting rid of this because it's almost dead. Uh, actually. There we go. The Oromu Wax Shrine. And just while I'm here, we'll do that. Get that out of the way. Wee. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> it's clearing some of it out. There it goes. Cool. Blah, 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 blah. 
<sighs> you know what? What has always been said, it's about the journey, not their destination, right? So we'll get where we're going. We'll get where we're going. Mm. Goddess statues. I need to find another one of those. Because I keep having to go to the center to get all my health and stuff. A launching device. Like into the air or something. Right? 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 <laughs> right? Right. Okay, so we're launching something up there. Oh, that's hilarious. Come with me. And I will grab you. Meow. <laughs> Okay. And then we need to launch this guy up there. Uh, there is ways to launch those, and also that. Okay. I'm going to guess that I need... Yeah, there's another rocket there. Cool. Uh, attach them, and then we will take both. Cool. We are going to go so fast. It's going to be great. We're going to go zooming. You ready for this? <laughs> so good. Okay, and I do not know how we're supposed to get up there, but sure. Uh-huh. 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 You want me to launch this, right? With all the power of the sun. One. Two. Three. Oh, this is going to go ridiculous. This is going to be stupid. I love it. I love it. Okay. Uh. Oh, the only way up there is to use one of these. Right, hold on. Beep. Boop. Bop. Ah. That's just enough. Good. I didn't realise it would do it straight away. Yep. So I'll take it. A ruby! That's a nice uh, chunk of change. And we'll attach that anyway. Uh, and change... this. Oh, I can just keep attaching them. There you go. Great. And again, okay. Go off, bestie, I guess. Yeah. Wonderful. So, I don't even need to do that, but I do want to do this, because it's going to be funny. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I could have just used my shield and glided, but that's more fun. Yeah. Rockets are powerful. Hmm. Okay. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Mm. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. Hmm. 
Get rid of that evil. That's three lights of blessing, I believe. Four! I can go and get another heart! <laughs> Yay! I've got three, four, five, six. I've got seven already. Hopefully there'll be a shrine in this uh, town. You can hope, right? You can hope. You can dream. But let's see what we get. Uh, Octo Balloon, when inflated, the sack obtained from defeating Octorox is extremely buoyant. Place one near something you want to lift to make it float. Let's make it float. Okay. I saw a thing over here. I'm going to make a glider. Uh, so... Time to glide. And I'm going to attach a rocket to the back of it. Okay. It's going to be so cool. I'm looking forward to this so bad. be so cool okay i want to get towards that light uh i'm gonna eat some spicy food right now because i'm anticipating i'm gonna be uh in a bit of danger and uh, we're gonna go Whoa -ho -ho! wonderful down we go See ya. The Lucky Clover Gazette! Here we are! It's not actually as cold as I thought it was going to be. It's a little windy. Oh, and it's a little slippy. That's cool. Oh, it's got some different music here too. Okay, let's have a look around first. Oh, we're slower in the, um, in the snow. Hylian pine cones. I think I see a well. Not 100% on that, though. Give me that. Uh, flight range, snowy mountain climbing path. Uh, Ritu Village! Oh, and the... Great. The bridge is out. Of course it is. Wingless visitors, cross at your own peril. Great. The bridge is indeed busted. Aww. Let me guess. You have business in Ritu Village as well? Well, sorry to disappoint you, but the bridge is down. There's no way across. Since the newspaper ran an article about the Rito food shortage, supply shipments have started to arrive, which is great. Mm. But with no bridge, there's no way to transport the goods in the, into Rito. I'm at my wit's end. And since the sun is refusing to show its face, it's cold. I might throw another Hylian pine cone on the fire. Those things burn hot. Last time I stoked the fire with one, it caused a gust of wind that made my bangs all frizzy. Recently, that guy Galley tossed one onto the fire next to some newspapers. The papers, they got caught up in a gust of wind and flew all the way to Ritu Village. There's no, that's no way to treat the written word. So if I go... Pine cone. Pine cone. Thank you. We. I see. That's cool. Uh, but I'm not seeing a. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing a well around here. So that that's fine. It's fine. It's a little different in here. We'll do it all from here. Oh, it's the guy again. Hi. Shh. Tracy's our editor here. Is getting ready for our big Princess Zelda investigation. You'll hear about our newspaper, right? Then you can talk to me too. I'm next in charge. Oh, wait a minute. It's you. I've got to say, you did a good job getting out here to find us. It's quite a hike from Lookout Landing when you haven't got wings. But here you are. Was it easy to find the place? 
Some folks passed by without a second look. After all, it was a stable. Until Tracy cheated the previous owner out of it. What? But you don't miss a thing, do you? Not bad. Not bad at all. I assume you came for the job. You want to work for the newspaper, right? I'll vouch for you with Tracy. Just picture it. Travelling the world as a reporter. Shining light on the truth. We'll be partners out there. Hey, quiet! Don't you listen, Pen? I told you I was busy, but you keep bothering me. And another thing, I bought this place on the owner after we came to a fair, mutually beneficial agreement. Can you stop telling people I cheated him out of it? I'm sorry, Tracy, but there's a new applicant for a reporter job. I wanted you to know. New applicant? What's that? Hmm, hang on. You look like... Ah, l l Link? Hey, sorry, Pen, but could you give me and this guy a second here? <laughs> How high? Hi, hi. How's it going? Oh. Alright, how about you give me the whole story, Link? I'm the editor of the Lucky Clover Gazette here, if you couldn't tell, so don't worry. I know everyone involved with the story. Pura asked us for help digging into what's happened to Princess Zelda. Now tell me everything. What exactly brought you here? Hmm. Interesting. So that's why she's asked you to investigate places seriously impacted by the upheaval. Oh. Well, coming here was a great call. What I mean is, we're getting tips from all over Hyrule. So many, in fact, that it's been hard to keep up. And among those tips, we've been hearing about someone who looks like the princess appearing in all sorts of places. Oh. I was about to assign Pen to chase those leads, but he could use a partner. I won't tell Pen who you are. It's better if no one knows you're involved. What do you say? Think you could work with him as we investigate? Of course, I wouldn't ask you to do this for free, though that'd be nice. Wait just a second. I'm going to set you a little incentive from the back. Oh. Here we go. Ooh, ta-da! The full set of froggy armor. With that on, it's easy to cling to wet surfaces. No slipping. You work with Pen to chase down all these news stories, and I'll give you this armor. Piece by piece, all yours. A pretty good deal there, Link. Anyway, that's my offer. Pen, you can come back in. <laughs> Starting now, this guy's your partner. Well, if either to here says you're in, then looks like I had you sized up right. Tracy knows how to pick them. Oh. All right, you two. Here's what you're going to do. Visit every stable for leads. Pen, you'll head this all up. Stables bring in people, and people bring details. And details are what we need. Now get me some news. Yeah! I really do want to be going to the stables, so definitely not going to complain. Potential princess sightings. Side adventures. Uh, side, side adventures. Potential princess sightings! Uh, she wants you and Pen to dig up whatever newsy details you can by visiting stables. Okay. Where are the worlds? Uh, side adventures. Yeah. He puts on a pretty confident act, but Pen is still a rookie reporter. There's a number of things he hasn't got a handle on yet, so take care of him. Remember, when there's a crowd, there are rumours. And where there are rumours, there might be leads to Princess Zelda. Canvas the stables and see what you can find out. So, do we just need to go to all of the stables first? Uh, dig up whatever newsy details you can by visiting stables. Okay. Uh, there we go. That's Hyrule Castle. You link, you must find me. We've got that. I still want to go into Rito Village, see what we can find. Hey, Pen. Okay, listen up, partner. We're on the trail of the truth about Princess Zelda. We can't let even the smallest clue slip through our talents, or hands, in your case. We should visit as many stables as we can. Travellers always have plenty of goings on to talk about. So long. Okay. <laughs> so that set of froggy armor caught your eye. With that, you'll cling to wet surfaces without slipping. Great if you need to stay on the lookout from unexpected places. Work with Pen to get to the bottom of the rumours of Princess Zelda. I'll give you the foggy armour piece by piece. Visit all the stables. Think of those stables as soup pots full of all kind of, kinds of tasty leads. Get out there, spoon up the news! Nice. The archives are currently closed. Okay. Visit most. You must visit additional stables. Okay, can do. And there should be a stable in every single region, so... We've got... The stable here we've got the stable there we've got the stable down here and we just have to keep finding those stables okay 
Speaking of, there should be a shrine nearby, right? It's not technically a stable though, so. Uh, wrong one. Meow. Rito Village, Tabantha Frontier. Uh, I am going to put a thing here, because if I build a bridge... Um, if I build a bridge, will it do something interesting? I do not know. So I I'm going to mark that down. Whoa! Ah, interesting. Okay. Hmm. Anything hiding, but definitely worth a check. So I want to see if I can uh, purchase some armor up here. Ooh. So snowy. So snowy. Okay, and I'm not cold because of the trousers. Brilliant. There it is. Eh. Oh. oh, the music is so nice. Oh, so good. So pretty, too. Okay, let's see if I can... Burn that up. One more. Cool. Opal! Take that. Do you do? Okay, we'll make our way up on foot, even though I've got this uh, thing attached to my back. <gasps> yeah! There we go. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their light of blessing. In exchange for four lights of blessing, I will amplify your be being. Give me another... Uh, do I need another heart container? Oh, I'll take... A little bit more stamina. I think I can actually get away with um, not needing the next heart. I can use the stamina vessel instead. Yeah. Nice. Stamina vessel. An important item that restores some of the stamina you lost to the gloom. Increasing the size of your stamina wheel. Brilliant. Go and bring peace to the world. All set. Let's sing. We're going to practice. We're about to practice our song. It's called the Song of the Storm Wind Arc. We're all going to sing it together to save our village from the upheaval. Are you going to listen to our song? Sure. Yay! We love an audience, so we'll give it our best for you. Everyone ready? A one and two and... Once a god fell from heaven. Stilling the Hebrew winds. The heavens grew lifeless just as the air below thinned. With the world in upheaval, we pledge to help the Lord. A line of ships soaring, built as a passage skyward. Oh no, I'm getting bad vibes from this song. Yeah, this is definitely uh, becoming like end of the world, looping back round to sky with sword type vibes. Oh no, this is going to get sad at the end of the story. The god ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. Its winds brought us new life, thanks to its great divine spark. Oh no, the story's going to break me. Oh. 
You know, this song is about the Ark that saved Rito Village a long, long time ago. And possibly in the future. Something bad happened then, just like it's happening now. Hey, that storm wind arc. Is it really real? I'd be so happy if it was. It definitely is. Papa told me it always it's always watching over us high in the sky. We could sure use its help with this awful blizzard. Most of the adults aren't around anymore because of the weird weather. Well, if we don't have the Ark and we don't have the adults, it's up to us kids to take care of the village. Practice is over for today. Genli, you're in charge of food. And Molly, you'll need to make arrows. We've all got jobs to do, so let's do them. Aww. Kid power. My heart. Okay, see ya. Gonna work my hardest. Oh. Oh, my heart. Hello. Oh no, I did it again. The beds are too soft and inviting. Ah, a customer. Who's sleeping? I wasn't sleeping, not me. Welcome to the Swallow's Roost Inn. We don't have any other guests at the moment, so rest easy and rest well. A regular bed is 20 rupees and a silky soft Rito down bed is 50. What the weeky, what the silky soft? A silky soft Rito down bed is made with lots of Rito feathers. It's soft and fluffy and gives the best of sleeps ever. If you only sleep in one bed here at the Swallow's Roost, make it that one. As soon as my head hits the pillow, it's like someone threw a blanket over me. Not that I ever use the beds. When you wake up again, you'll be full of energy and ready to go. A regular bed is 20 rupees and a silky soft. You know what? Again, those kids broke my heart with like how sad everything is going with this story. So let's go with the Rito down bed. Uh, we'll sleep till morning. Got it. I'll give you a chirp when it's morning. Sleep well, mister. Aww. Aww. Oh dear, that's going to get taken out of context. Ah, so soft. Mm. <laughs> okay. Nice. Morning, mister. How about that silky soft Rita down bed, huh? Well, take care. Cool. Okay, let's go see if there's a shop. There is a shop up top. There's also... A shrine, huh. Hello, I need fish. Hi. Full tummies make for happy Rito. That's why I like learning new meals out of the recipe book. I saw one in there that I know everyone would love. A fish pie made with stamino kebass. Doesn't that sound yummy? Problem is I can't leave the village to catch a stamino kebass. Thanks to this dumb blizzard. I have everything else to bant the wheat, goat butter, rock salt. But if I'm gonna make a fish pie, I need the fish. I need stamina kabass. Wish I had stamina kabass. Hello. Hooray, a customer. Welcome to the Slippery Falcon General Store. Thanks for stopping by in spite of the weather. So um, what can I do? Uh, what is this place? This is a shop where you can buy cooking ingredients plus all sorts of other stuff. Although we haven't gotten much business since the blizzard took out the bridge. Have you seen the building with the big horse on top of it across the bridge? People in there make these kind of thin books called newspapers. They used to be our best customers, but I haven't heard from them in a while. Okay, is that all, or do you want to buy something? Uh, yeah, let's buy something. No, it's okay. Fish or mushrooms you could try poking around in the caves outside of town. Along the road to the east, okay, and even more of them in the mountains. You know what, I'll buy all of it. I'll buy one of each and we'll make a cake. Yeah. Is this milk? Oil. A mild oil extract from plant seeds. It's very versatile in cooking and can coax flavours from ingredients used in many dishes. Also good for adding fuel to a fire. Okay. Cool. Thank you. It looks to be a collection of the Slippery Falcon's recommended recipes. <gasps> Hot buttered apple. First, you want to buy goat butter here at the Slippery Falcon. Simply cook goat butter and an apple together, and the hot buttered apple is complete. Adding a spicy pepper to the mix is a good way to warm up your body. Oh, that sounds good. Nut cake. Some ingredients may be in short supply due to the blizzard. We appreciate your patience as we restock. First, you want to buy tabantha wheat, goat butter, and cane sugar. Okay. Toss these three ingredients with your favourite type of nut. And for an extra kick, try substituting the nut with something else. An apple is a good starting point to experiment with. 
And then fish pie we know about, but I'll put it in. Uh, Tabantha wheat, goat butter, rock salt fish. Okay. What was the nut cake again? Uh, Tabantha wheat, goat butter, cane sugar. Okay, I, I want to make one of those. Oh. Thank you. Do you have a cooking pot in here? You don't. That's okay. Uh, you've got a clothes shop up here too. Okay. <laughs> la 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 la. What's up? Hi hi, thanks for coming in, even though it's snowing so hard. It's cold in the village, but it's even colder on top of the mountain. You'll freeze solid at the peak if you don't find a way to keep warm. Lucky for you, we sell warm clothes. What brings you to the shop here today? What is this place? This is the Brazen Beak Armor Shop. We have warmer armor. I know it's chilly here, but you know what? They say it's even cold at the top of the mountain. Brr. You don't want to freeze up there, mister. Bundle up with some warm gear. Cool. Let's get the... People are finding more caves all the time. Okay. Caves are nice because they're warm. You can hide out from the cold if you don't have one of our outfits. Plus, you can find shiny ores. We'll, we'll pay a lot for the ores, and so will the folks at the general store. So keep an eagle eye out for them. That's a good point. I'm here to sell some ores. Uh, because they are kind of clogging up my inventory as well. Nice. Uh, by type. Uh, ores. Ores. Or, or. I do not have any more or. I thought I had more or. Oh, I'm not selling that. Um. Okay, we're good. Okay, I'm gonna buy a new hat. Plenty of caves. Yep. Thank you. Snow quill headdress. Oh, that's expensive. A Rita accessory made from snowbird feathers is adorned with a ruby, a gem that harnesses the power of fire to make cold climates more tolerable. The tunic is quite expensive too. Lined with molted Rito feathers, this tunic was made by Rito artisans for Hylians visiting colder climates. The feathers are stacked in each layer to retain body heat. And then I've got... Is it snow cool trousers that I have? Archaic warm greaves. Okay. No, so I'm not buying the snow cool trousers. I will buy the headdress though, even though it's expensive. Um, It is expensive, but it gives me cold resistance. Sure. Snow quill headdress. Cold resistance. A Rito accessory made from snowbird feathers. It's adorned with a ruby, a gem that harnesses the power of fire to make cold climates more tolerable. Thanks a whole bunch for buying from us. We can finally eat. <laughs> uh, and plus we get a really cute look. Ah, uh, it's so cute. Anyway. Now I've got extra cold resistance, so I hopefully won't freeze. Uh, this looks to be a little house. <gasps> Cooking pot! Okay, what was the recipe again? It was... Wheat, butter, sugar. Wheat, butter, sugar. Uh... Oh, I don't have wheat, do I? No! I don't have sugar. No! <laughs> Damn it! I can have a hot buttery apple though. Eh. I'll make one of these. With a golden apple too. Meh. <laughs> hot buttered apple. The apple's sweetness has been enhanced by smothering it with butter and baking it. Oh, that sounds so good. That sounds so good. Uh, soup ladle. Oh, I see you. I think I don't see you. I don't think I don't see you, mister. I don't think I don't see you. Yeah, ha, ha. Thank you. Cool. This lets me get down to the shrine a bit faster at least. And then we'll go to the mama bird. I see you, mama bird. Do do. Kataki Shrine. Huh. 
Let's get in here. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. Freezing climate. Some ingredients will freeze if submerged. Okay. Wimmed. Ride the wimmed. Ride the wimmed. Oh dear. Uh. Keep it easy. Keep it easy. That was scary. Yeah, better, 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 better. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Hi. Nailed him. Steady. <laughs> Steady. Oh dear. Uh, 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 okay. Strong construct bow. Good thing uh, one of my old ones broke. Just do a little. Do a little, little bit of that. Just, just a little bit of that. Okay, I just have to go through. Anything up here? Yes. Nice. Now, ba da ba da ba da ba. Brilliant. Yeah, the mountains are going to definitely be an area to explore. You have done well to reach this place. We offer you more light. Thank you. Light. Orb. Orb. And a little bit of gonna go bro. We're slowly getting the gloom out of us. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Okay. The fact that the same map is used, but it's so distinct, it just doesn't feel like it's the same map at all. It really doesn't. Okay. A torch is also useful not just as a light source, but also to ward off the cold. Good to know. Okay. Uh, bu 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 bu. Whoa! That, uh, I, I could have hit, hit my head there. I'm glad I didn't. Okay. Where are we going? We still going up? Do, do, do. You'll freeze some solid. Okay, I'm, not, I'm seeing more stuff down there as well. Okay, so we came up from there. We came up from there as well. Keep going around. Keep exploring. You'll freeze them solid. Ah. 
Hmm, how about this one? Huh? You need something, mister? Because I'm actually kind of busy. My papa told me you can use ice fruit to freeze monsters solid. Which give me an amazing idea for an invention. My problem is, I can't go out to pick fruit right now with the blizzard and all. Oh, it's so not fair. It's the best invention I come up with in so long. But without ice fruit, I can't make it. Molly the Fletcher's Quest. Okay, a little side quest. Oh. Story time. That's not fair at all. You know I can handle it. Checking out that huge cloud wouldn't be hard. I could even do it alone. <sighs> if we don't do anything, the village. <laughs> Hi. It is you. Link. Aww. Tillin, young Rito warrior. Cute. Adorable. Link, they told me you were missing. It's so good to see you're doing well. Tiba, new Rito elder. It's very nice to see you again. Hmm. Do you remember my son Tullin? He's grown taller, though perhaps not yet grown up. <sighs> uh. Well, maybe I would if you didn't treat me like a hatchling all the time. Hmm. As long as you still think you can take on the world by yourself, you'll always be my little chick. Ah. Uh. Wait, you think I can't? I'm already fully fledged, you know. You'll change your tune when I ace today's scouting trip. Uh, you all can keep wasting your time treating the song of the Stormwind Ark like it's real, but not me. Listen, you... Nah, he's off. Unbelievable. Tolin wants me to let them go find what's causing the blizzard, and he's having trouble hearing no. You mentioned a song? It's an old folk song here in Rito Village. Long, long ago, when we faced a different sort of upheaval, the village was saved thanks to a great flying ship. Or so claims the song that's been passed down through the generations. Mm. It's a song for children, mind you. Few adults still parrot it as if it were true. Still, every now and then, you get reports among the Rito of a flying ship. Combine that with the blizzard caused by the upheaval, and it seems less far-fetched. Hmm. Even if the song of the storm and dark is just a children's rhyme, I suspect that there is something lurking high in the sky. But the air is so turbulent now that no Rito can fly close enough to look into it. This is why I say we need to make careful preparations to find the truth, but Tullin, he thinks we cling to that song out of cowardice. Hmm. But these are Rito matters. You came for some purpose, yes? No, I mean, I was kind of just bumbling around, but uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, the Princess Zelda's missing and I was told to find four locations, I think. Uh, what? This is terrible news. So then, not even Hyrule Castle is safe. If Princess Zelda's disappearance and the strange phenomena around the world are related, hmm. We Vito would ordinarily love to contribute to your search, but this abnormal blizzard shows no sign of stopping, and food has grown scarce. Everyone I could spare is already out researching the blizzard or scavenging for food. My husband hasn't been able to leave the village much since becoming the village elder. I wish there was something I could do. Hmm. But maybe I'm not the one you want. You should be asking half. My friend Hearth has many sources of information, so you might already have a lead about Princess Zelda. You see the two bonfires out that way? Hmm. He's in the lodge near there, if you'd like to try visiting him. Oh, new main quest! Tulin of Rito Village. A severe blizzard has struck Rito Village, leaving it in crisis. Tiba had no information for you concerning Princess Zelda, but he suggested you ask Hearth at a nearby lodge. This lodge is north of the village at the foot of the Hebrew Mountains, and it's marked by a pair of bonfires. So yeah, I'm actually at one of the regional phenomena right now. And uh, you know what? We'll, we'll keep looking into this. We'll, we'll keep going. Tullin's profile has been added. I'm going to keep looking around Vito Village, but I'm checking out those bonfires. That actually looks like something that will be very interesting, so I'll keep that in mind. Okay, getting some more profiles. All good stuff. See if there's any more mini quests. Not that I can see, but you know I've got to climb this, right? You know I've got to climb this. Wrong one. Oh. Yeah. Right to the tippy top.
Okay. Whew. Hi. <laughs> I'm up here now. What's going on up here? Hmm. Okay. There was also... Uh, where is the... Ah, there it is. We will go and get the, the, the sky tower, then we'll go and check out those double bonfires. Yeah, ha, ha. Knew it. Yeah, ha, ha. You found me. Yeah, beep. Ow. <laughs> okay. Mm. Mm. No, my rocket shield. Well, not bother. Um. I guess I'll take this. Do I have another rocket? Got one left. Uh, fuse. Let's go. Let's go. We can definitely make it over there. Oh. Ah. Uh, controller, please. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Things went a little funky there for a second. A tad concerned I might have more drift, but uh, we shall have to see. I remember um, when I played Breath of the Wild, my first playthrough of that, that's when I was first getting drift in my first set of controllers. So it would kind of be ironic, but also fitting if I did get uh, drift in my controllers playing Tears of the Kingdom. I hope that doesn't happen. That should be said, though. So touch wood, that does not happen. Okay. Oh, seeing a lot of fires. There it is. There we go. Crossbow Pass Tower. Let's examine this. We might be able to see what's going on with the storm as well with this uh, when we get shot up. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna crack open a cold one because we are in the freezing cold after all. And uh, we will pop on over here, see what we can see. Let's go. We. Right into the snow. Oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> Surface map updated. Ooh. Okay, we got a load of mountains. <laughs> nice. But also a big heck of tornado. Um, yeah, ki kind of knew about that. Kind of knew about that. Okay, I want to be going for the uh, shrine on my left. Up there, look. Because I see you, and I will get up to you. How that is a uh, question... Is that a hot air balloon? Hello, I. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. Big boss boy down there, too. Okay, interesting. I need a bit more battery. 
bit more battery in here. There we go. Cool. There we go. That's exactly what we needed. Ice fruit. A fruit that generates cold when struck. Cooked correctly, it gives off an effect that strengthens muscles and increases attack power in cold temperatures. Ice fruit is also the fruit that little bird wanted, so I'm, I'm going to go take that to them soon. We've got some orb. Orb. Come on, I need the control. The control points. Whatever they're called. Control sticks, flight sticks. I, th I think they might be called flight sticks. Uh, down at the bottom. Stick one in. <sighs> okay, what do we have? Rockets, flame emitters, portable pots. Okay, nothing special. Not really. There you go. So we'll just chuck these in and we'll get what we can. Yeah, I've really got, like, nothing. Uh, we've got a few more rockets, though. I haven't used these time bombs. I don't know how they work. Um... So if I leave that there... Okay, so it is like a conventional... Okay, 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 okay. Got it. Interesting. Let's go and get the shrine. So we can travel up here at ease. Uh, the Ejo Oil Shrine. In we go. Let's see what we can see. Hmm. If you happen to see a shooting star while skydiving, you may be able to catch it if you get close enough. I did exactly that. Ooh. More than defense. Hi. Ah. There you go. More than defense, you say. Well, I'll take you on. I'll take you on. I'll melt this. See? Got him. Oh. That ice. Wait, can I? No. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. I can... Oh, that's cool. Ice. Ooh, chilly. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> uh... Ow. Brilliant. That works. Uh, let's drop this one. Stone slab shield. Okay, then. Interesting. Uh -huh. Ooh, more arrows. Good. Okay, to get past that, I'm going to need the stone slab one, so... Eh. Face it. 
<laughs> cool. Quickly, uh, beep boop. That is so silly. Okay, let's quickly go with a uh, most used. Got him. Nice. Construct bow. Where do I need to go? I need to get up there. Okay, is there any other random shields I want to... Yes, this one. Uh, beep, boop. Uh, and then I'll keep that one with the flame, flame emitter as well. And we will rocket our way up. We are... What happens if we land on top of it? Nothing. Okay. Fair enough. Hmm. Visitor to the Shrine of Light. Hi. How you doing? Hmm. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Yeah. Hmm. Oop. Blah. <laughs> Ba -da -ba -da. Okay. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Mm. Okay. So. Then I also need to check out... I see another star! I see you! Don't think I don't see you! Ah, if it's written in ancient Hylian, it's going to be... Oh, story! Story thing! I don't think I don't see you. Uh, I need a weapon. A pointy stick. There we go. Okay, let's see what we can find up here. In the snow and the wind. Okay. Another zone I charge. Okay. Okay. I kind of was expecting that, but also not. Didn't expect it to go so deep. A balloon! Okay, what about this one? A flame emitter. Okay. And I'm going to need both of those to get up, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay, let's make ourselves something a little interesting. So I need flame emitter, a balloon, flame emitter, a balloon, and a wind, and a battery. Cool. Nice. Oh, careful. So, that. That. that and I'll attach the battery to this
like that. Okay. It worked! See ya! Oh! Careful! <laughs> I hope that doesn't brain a uh, heckin' Rita on the way down. Okay, what have we got? Another old map. Oh no. A very old map that shows a marked spot. Oh, it's underground. Oh, okay! I can actually get to that one. I can actually get to that one. Fair enough. Cool. Okay. Uh, I think I will check out that arena, actually. Go see what that's all about. See what this is as well. Okay, that's our way up and out, I'm guessing. Um, I will... There we go. Um, oh, that's a flame emitter. That's not what I wanted. I wanted a... Um... Oh, excuse me. No, come on. No, yes. There we go. Huh, okay. Let's go into the fight and see what we see. I don't know what to expect, to be honest. Uh, I'm going in with the best I can, really, this. And uh, we'll see what happens. Flux Construct 1. Uh. Ah. I'll take that. Thank you. I'm just taking him apart piece by piece. Oh, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Will this work? No, it didn't work. Cool. Interesting. Drop it off the edges. Okay. Oh, it. Don't like that. Construct defeated. Woo. What is that? What are you? Uh, let's quickly... Flux Construct Core? Okay, let's quickly get rid of 
That's a topaz rod. Okay. Zonite sword. Plus three. So I've got like a club of some kind now. Flux call one pounder. Zonite powered. Ooh. That's fun. Okay. And a chest. Another old map. Oh no. These things scare me. Mm. Not the worst. Not the worst. Okay. We're going to go down to that shrine. Then we'll go back to the baby bird and take them their... Uh, what do they want? Uh, take them their little ice fruit. Corsiflina. This medicinal plant grows in high elevations such as mountains in the Hebra or Gerudo regions. When cooked into a dish, it will temporarily increase your heat resistance. <gasps> Be prepared, a foxo is coming. Ah! Quick! Foxy, hide the chicken. Oh, grab, grab, grab. Okay. I just realized I can actually just use a glider to get over there. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna use a glider. Um, because I say so. <laughs> Where's this glider? Mm -hmm. I can take a glider out. There you go. Turn it around, put it down. And we're trying to go, where are we going? That way. We are going that way. Okay, because I don't want to go right into the, um, Right into the middle of the tornado. All I want to do is get down to that. <gasps> so we had a dragon! I see you. Turn, 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 turn. Beautiful. Coming for a landing. Perfect. Okay. Let's see what we've got ourselves in for here then. We The Sahiro Shrine. And I got booped and I got hydrated, so I just ha had a little drink of my drink. Nam, nam, nam. <laughs> oh, big stretch. Gloom. The gloom that covers the ground cannot be dispersed. In any way. Okay. Aid from above. Is that bad? Oh, okay. Yeah, don't touch that. There you go. Interesting. This is pretty cool, to be fair. Nice. Beep boop. Okay, which way do I want to go? I'm guessing this way. OK. 
Okay, there's a chest there. Aha! Simple. There we go. Spicy elixir. Okay. Uh, well, if you say I can't eat anymore, I will just drink... Uh, ugh, what do I want to drink? All this food's pretty good. Uh, actually, th no, that's garbage. I like how it asks if, if you really want to eat it. Just to get rid of it. There we go. Another spicy elixir. Although, I don't really need spicy elixirs anymore. I, I should just sell them. Hmm. I should just sell them since I've got the, um, since I've got the gear now. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Oh dear. There we go. Oh, um, well. <laughs> Is that cheating? Maybe a little. <laughs> but yeah, I can sell all my spicy food now. Since I've got the, um... Since I've got the cold resistance hat and the cold resistance boot. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Light of blessing. Thank you. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna go and give the baby bird the ice fruit now, because I have the ice fruit. And since it's a side quest, I normally forget these things, so I'm gonna go and make sure I do that right now. Not get too distracted, but right now, <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. I, I can get not too distracted. No complete promises, but... Okay, where am I going? I need to go back to Rito Village. Uh, I'm just gonna use the shrine. Yeah. Intact weapons. You can sometimes find weapons that haven't decayed around the depths. Interesting. That is pretty interesting. Oh, I think I see a Korok too. Yep. Yeah, haha. Mother, no. <laughs> Mother flopper. Yeah, ha ha. Take that. Okay. Uh, I need to get up. So, I'm gonna chop down a tree. Oh, no! No! And then... Acorns! Acorns? Should be food, right? It's a little finicky, but we'll find it. Where are you? And I am so sorry. Cannot eat. Cannot sleep tonight. 
There it is. Wish I had a stamina kebass. Uh, hi. Mm -hmm. uh. Oh, they're still singing down there. Okay, who has the... It's up here. Uh, it'll be in my adventure log. Molly the Fletcher. There we go. Up there. Are you in here? Little bird? Yeah. What am I going to do? Without ice fruit, I can't make my invention. You've got to go through all the trouble coming up with an idea. And it sits there, taking up space in your head. <gasps> huh? Mister, I felt a cold breeze coming from your pouch. Huh? Mister, what's that you got? That's the ice fruit I wanted, isn't it? Can I have one? Yes. Here you go. Yay, now I can finally make my invention. When I attach this to the tip of an arrow, I'll have an arrow that can freeze monsters from far away. Sometimes I'm so smart, I scare myself a little. I wonder what would happen with other materials. You can make arrows with all sorts of effects. Wow, listen to me. With every breath, I spew out brilliance. But I should probably stop talking before I give away all my best ideas. Anyway, here's a thank you present. Ten arrows! You know the reason I like making arrows? It's my papa. He creates the strongest bows around. I want to make arrows that go perfectly with his bows. All I have to do is keep working hard, getting my name out there, and one day, I'll be a world-famous arrow maker. One my papa can be proud of. Molly! Thank you, Molly. Sleepy time now. Ah, oh, those are mine, mister! Hold on. Is your problem that you don't have enough wooden arrows? It's important to help each other in times of need. That's what my papa says, so if you want them, they're yours. Oh, I would have paid you. I'm giving you a fish. I have decided. Eh. This is your payment. Fish. Have a good day. <laughs> I felt bad for taking the arrows. Had to give them a fish. Had to. Just had to do it to him. Uh, ooh. Ah. <laughs> okay. Uh, game plan. What's my game plan? Uh, my game plan is. Well, it was going to be to go and do a main mission, but we've got so much more map to unlock. And I want to continue exploring the. Um, What's it called? The uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. words are hard, so I'm gonna help them um, have a side quest to help me out. Uh, I'm gonna go and do the potential princess sightings by visiting all the stables. So let's visit some more stables. Let's go and do that, uh, and we shall go and do that in the next part because well, we've been going for quite some time. So I shall see you tomorrow when we will be checking out. Hopefully, uh, most of the other stables, because we've got a lot more of Hyrule to cover. Like, look how much we do indeed have to cover. We've still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? Eight or nine regions, which we haven't even gotten the map of yet. And that's not taking into account the stables we've got to find, the wells, the whole underground section where we've got all these new fun things going on. There's a little map thing last location where we were that down there absolutely wild absolutely wild so we're gonna go and be finding some more stables and maybe just maybe checking out some of these spots on these maps because these really do have me quite curious they really do have me quite curious indeed but i've been loki loki Niden, and uh i'll see you in the next one